do. Turn this down. Pop up live. It's Sunday and we're stuck inside. It's snowing like crazy out. And um, we're just gonna play out here and be live. Uh, once in a while we may look at the comments if and when we ever get people in here, because as of right now, I don't think anyone's watching. I hear pop up, there's no announcement. Yeah, they have no idea. You have to watch this in the replay. This is, video is not sponsored by Wrangler whatsoever. It's a shirt. Get over it. So we're going to play around in here. Move the camera around a bit. Ooh, somebody is watching. Who could possibly be watching at this hour? Shady Grady. Shady Grady, your first one. <laughs> Hi, Mike. <laughs> Mike's in here too. Nope, Jeff King's in here. Oh my god, they're going live! We've got to watch him! <laughs> I don't want to miss out. I look really, really good today. So don't be jealous. Yeah, like I said, it's um, crappy weather out. I don't know how far widespread it is, but it is bad here. Like wet yeah just just snow sprinter. crap sprinter it's called and um so since we're stuck inside I'm gonna work on things and stuff we already did a water change over here uh, bye Mike thank you 75 gallon tank did a water change and put some crystals in there. Harvest, harvest some Java moss. That was fun. Java fern. Oh, and some Java fern. Tossed it over into the. Uh, oh, backhanded right there. The tetra tank. My plan today was to move, I'm sorry, I'm not mic'd up or anything, we're just using the mic on the camera. And uh, I wanna move this tank over here. That's my plan, if I get that far. I'm not gonna work too hard on it. I want to see Jake put his hand on the dartboard and Katie throw the darts in between the fingers. Should we try it? Hey, Shady. Want to try it? <laughs> Do you trust me? I don't know. It's random. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. <laughs> well, at least they're not in a metal tips. Steel tips. Well, oh, Jeff Kane's off for it as well. Well, at least you're the one with your hand up there and not me. <laughs> <coughs> no, Jeff, they're not metal tips, they're soft tips.
These are my darts. Yeah. The uh, flights spin and they move in and out as well. So when you get tight group tight grouping, another one comes in, it'll deflect won't deflect the dart as much. So you can have real tight spacing. Because you know I'm all about the triple twenties. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, once again, sorry about the audio, kind of. I'm not being that picky with this one. Just our camera. Just our camera on a tripod. What's Katie going to do today? What are you going to do? Oops. Asking the guy with the shaky hands to <coughs> hold something. Eggplant. Well, you guys didn't see my crash cart that I made. This. stuff I need on one handy rolly cart uh, chemicals tools thermometer TDS meter droplets um, just everything I don't know, measuring cups test kits siphons uh, towel for baskets I've got nets hanging up on this end. I zip tied this little rack to it. It was a blue cart that they were going to throw away at work because it was all busted. So I took it home and epoxied it, put it back together, good as new. And now I can roll it around in here when we need to work on tanks. That was this. Oh, that was from the crystals. Crystal meth bag. No. No. We put quartz crystals into the 75 because we were wanting to do an experiment to see if quartz help keep blackbeard algae away. Don't know for sure. Just read a few things. High vibes.
Let's move it a little closer. Huh? Let's move this a little closer to what you're doing. You're, you're the interesting one right now. Whoa! Whoa! I think I got stabilization on this. Not wireless, so it's about as close as we can get it. Passing wind doesn't feel good, but it's still short to say hi. Yeah, well, soon. Do you need this at all? No, but I do need that. Sand? Yeah. Oh, no. I still tip the crap over. Shady Mike, that was me. <coughs> Hers is already open. Yeah, I don't want aquarium water. That's kind of gross. They take a long time to grow to a point you can actually plant them without breaking them. Um, oh, there's a stray one in there. Um, we did this last year as the year before, I would say probably before COVID we had no problem trying to find eggplant plants around here. And uh, once COVID hit, it's like the greenhouses only did minimal things. And that's one of our favorite things to have, especially for eggplant parmesan. And again, last year, the local greenhouses still didn't have them. So I planted our own seed. And if you can go back into the greenhouse videos that we have of the garden in there, they were massive. They did really well. So I'm going to give her a whirl again this year. Um, as of right now, the only place I know that's going to have it is my workplace unless they don't ship them. So I'll still get some from there, but we'll see how we do it again this year by seed.
right? We had a music gig today, like, on YouTube or an actual gig, like, playing somewhere. bunch of Timu stuff the other day. Yeah. A bunch of these magic erasers we got from them. A 20 and a 30 pack. It was under three bucks from both of them together. A nice big pack of these pipettes, like one milliliter pipettes. They come in handy for a lot of things. Katie, show the camera, of course. These are my nerve plants. Nerve plants? Yes. Get closer. They can go into the top of an aquarium, but not be submerged. And they're called a nerve plant because they, any subtle movement or a touch they'll close right up. But you don't want to do that all the time because you will kill the plant if you keep doing it. But these are the ones I planted. I didn't even date when I planted, I don't think. I would say last month. There's a little kit her mom gave her. So yeah, it's kind of like for little kids. It came with a rock and some stickers on there. Cartoon character. Morgan, the mysterious mover. There's more than one in there. Are well, there should be. There was a ton of seed, but that's There's all that something. popped up. So they're all called Morgan? Yeah. Okay. Good. Easy to remember, then. I don't have to remember all their names. They're a mini terrarium kit for kids. Mom knows I love plants, so and I'm a kid at heart. So that's why she bought me one. Plus, they're pretty cool. I'm going to put this one over here instead. A little disclaimer, guys, we're not always going to be seeing what's going on in the chat, and I don't have a fancy bot to read it off like Jason does. So, I'll check on it once in a while, we both will, but like I said, we're just working in here. Gotta do a water change in here, that means I gotta go grab some more water. I have a partial bucket. Got this cool pump from a friend, it works great. When you're a bucket person like I am, submersible pump, you can use it for cleaning out aquariums too, but mainly, so this little bottom piece has the suction cups on here, and it sucks right to the bottom of the bucket, and I can just clamp the hose into the edge of the tank, and as it gets low, I can just take another bucket and keep filling that one. Now I'll have to keep hoisting them in there and splashing, causing a big ruckus with water it changes. It's been a game changer for us, the way we have it out here with no running water. That helps a lot. And it also helps a lot with like a tank down here that's like floor level, so it's too low to get any uh, siphon going. So I can use this, put it in there, and suck out the water as needed. You just crawled right under that tripod. Yeah. It scurries around like a little mouse. Little mouse. 
So, pulled out a bunch of plants from the 75 today. And they're just sitting in this pan with water. Ooh, there goes a piece. Um, Purple Heart and Wandering Jew. Um, I pulled these out of there because they tend to grow towards the aquarium more. They kind of climb, but they they like to lean towards the water more and dip down in the water. And I didn't I only wanted the roots in there. So we're gonna take them, separate them out. Like this one fell off. Can easily take this, pull off parts, dip that in water, and it'll start rooting. It's a really cool plant. Very fuzzy, like this kind of fuzzy leaves. Very purple. Love this plant. Fast growing. Yeah, very fast growing. Good flower. They do flower. We saw that last year in our greenhouse. Make really cool purple flowers coming off of there. Another cool fact. Lack of light spectrum needed. So only be green. What's that? If the light spectrum is not appropriate for the plant, it'll stay green and not oh. purple. No, no, if you guys could hear that. But she said that if the light spectrum isn't just right for these, they'll just stay green. They won't turn purple. I guess we've had good enough light for them. But I was thinking about... we got more plant holders, those hang on back ones. I'll show you. So we've gotten two sets of these. These are the latest ones we got. They only hold five. You've probably seen them before. But they, um, they hang on the back. I have a little slot, slotted uh, panel here, so you can put your plants essentially inside here, and then you put one in each one, and then slide this cover back in place, and it holds them in there, and then you can just put it wherever you want in an aquarium, and make it look so easy, don't I? Could have been on uh, infomercials. Yeah. Imagine me on an infomercial. Check out this product. It's really cool. Hey, you would do well on snow globe commercials. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Katie said I do well on snow globe. Yeah. If I could sell snow globes on video. Check it out, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and then they can just hang on the back, wherever you want. Um, the other two that we got are wider, probably about this wide. Okay. Two more slots. Is that the one? No, that's no. not one. Okay, I put it. Oh, I'm talking about the other two okay. chambered ones. And then Katie picked out these. I haven't used them yet, but they're like a hanging basket thing to put on there. We might use these in with the goldfish because, I don't know, there'd be less chance of them destroying the root completely. You know, whatever grows outside they might nip at, but they kind of keep bundled up in there. So we'll have to give that a try. We struggle really bad with being able to have live plants with our goldfish. Anybody's got any tips on that and how to have live plants with goldfish? Let us know because it's <coughs> they're so messy and they they do so well for plants. They definitely produce enough waste. Mexicali's lurking. Lurking. Sounds kind of creepy. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Nice 
So our angel pair has spawned in here. There's a piece of white PVC in there. And they spawned on the back of that, but it's it's facing the other way. So I can't even really see them. If I look real far this way, I can kind of see some of the eggs. I was tempted to kind of go in there and turn it, but I just, I don't even want to touch this one. I just want to leave them alone. I'm afraid that I'll turn it and they'll be confused. They won't know where the eggs went. I don't know how smart they are, but uh, I'm just going to leave them for now. Last time, I put my fingers into it way too much and they ended up all dying. So this batch, I'm just kind of leaving them be. They're going to stay with their parents. They're going to not be moved. They can do everything. Hopefully, we'll have some success if they know how to raise them. We definitely have to do something about these plants, Katie, before they dry out. sucks about this doing these kind of live streams where we are working it's just you know sharing and you guys hang out with us while we're playing around in here and so we got no music normally we're jamming got some tunes going and of course YouTube it's almost impossible however I was wondering someday I'm gonna make it I can play music off of that website that I have an account with. There may not be songs everyone knows, but we can have some background music maybe. Eventually. What do you got there? Got all the new plants I need to transplant. Show them. Ooh, that was close. These have gotten way too big for these little containers. What is this one called? That is a black car cardinal philodendron. Imperial philodendron? Or is that just like something else? Well, a lot of the plant stores label on their own instead of the actual name. Cool. What's this one? That one is a new type of variegated prayer plant. It's the leaves are a lot thicker than a normal prayer plant. There's, I think, like four different plants in this little tiny pot. So I'm gonna split some up and give some to a friend. Cool. What's this one? Careful. Well, I won't touch it then. What, what Here, is give it? me this one. Get up close to the camera so you can see it. This one is called String and Turtles. You got that? Yeah, we have them both. Okay. Um, okay. The little leaves look like little variegated turtle shells. They do. They, also, they look to me like green peas that have been squashed flat. Well, the ones that look like whole peas are String and Tears. But they're like flat and they have those patterns. Why are you letting Jake hold this? I don't know, there we go. but you're doing pretty really well. still. I'm trying to. But yeah, well, I'm getting a bunch of new shoots Ooh, look at them. these weird... What are those? Those are eventually going to be blossoms. Can you guys see that at all? Like little fuzzy banana looking things growing off the end. Those are cool. Yeah. That one's going to be very delicate to transplant. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've got the pots. I've got the dirt. I've just... Put them off, put them off, put them off. But they seem to be doing really well. I just got to make sure Jake doesn't overwater when he waters. I try not to water those. I'll let you do it. Okay. I don't overwater stuff. Now, is there peroxide <laughs> in that spray bottle? Yeah. I don't know if it's good anymore. But... It'll work. When I transplant any plants, whether it's from the greenhouse for household plants that could come inside. Um, I clean off the roots really well. 
and I spray it down with peroxide to prevent any funguses, um, root rot, etc. I clean any of the, the dead looking roots away. There's Katie's darts. They're pink like a flamingo. Same kind of style <laughs> flights. We use the same brand tips. And I had to paint these pink. Starting to chip off. She doesn't always hit the dartboard, so the paint chips off. I hit the board. <laughs> I got a bad bounce out. Just trying to get some of this crap out of your way for you, honey. You're fine. I'm going to use the floor. We don't have a lot of desk space in here anymore at the moment, for now. Jesse's here. Hello, Jesse. Good day, sir. I said good day. You're nuts. Maybe so. Steal that open sign idea from it was uh I forgot his name now. I like his channel. Blonde haired guy. Well, this is so root bound and grown. Chris Chris something. Chris 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 uh starts with a P I think. Palmer! Palmer's Aquatics. Saw his open sign and I'm like, I have an open sign. Let's use an open sign too. Del. Uh, Del says, Katie, he might be nuts. But he's your nut. Oh, well. <laughs> Did 
Yes, yes he is. And don't let her fool you. She's uh, she's crazy. Nuts. Not like me. But crazy. Uh, but all women are. Kind of guppy that's like laying around a lot. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's male or female, actually. You just now notice it? Well, it started doing it today. I was gonna grab her and put her in the breeding box or him in the breeding box to take a look, but. Airstone has not been doing so well in there lately. I may have to change it. The oxygen's getting low. If I can get my other phone camera going. So Jeff, you got to be having some crap weather like we are, huh? Probably in the same boat. I'm just going to see if I can get my phone hooked into there too, so <clears throat> so we can have some close-ups of stuff as well. I'm going to mute it though. Flamingo cam. So yeah, here is 
Crunch Coke. What'd you do? You got uh, <coughs> some API stuff. Full time. Test kits. Strips. We will trade, lay down, tools in. Is it doing okay? Got some guppy fry in here, along with our shrimpies. What is it? I I didn't shake so much. Better stop before I make people sick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go back. Main view.
Now what? Move it so it's easier to get in and around here. Sorry about that. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Yep, yep.
There's a customer at my store. He looks just like him, only minus the hat. Our store. He comes to mine, too. Comes to your store, too? Yeah. His name is Greg, and uh, a lot of times he's got sunglasses on. He's got big rosy cheeks and a white beard. He looks just like him. Not Santa Claus, though. I'm keeping my pants pulled up for the week of carding. All these little cups down here that we come down. Ooh, what are these? Don't mess. Still water in there, huh? It's just all of these. So you're probably going to break apart. You've got to get them. And let's do this one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Tiny little cup. Look at that little green uh like my belly. The green um just in a tiny little cup container. I have to uh, do a water change. Oh. <laughs> I'll be back. Sure. <coughs> so I may be wrong, but I thought I heard a snowmobile out there. So you get two inches of wet, sloppy spring snow, and you gotta take your machine out. Huh? We live in Redmond country. That's Wisconsin for you. And nearby an auto parts place, so I'm sure they had to bring it for a park. Ha ha. Run, run, run. Okay, so we got that one down. So many. This is another. Well, if you hand me that spider plant. I got stuff on this too. Oh, sorry. This spider plant? Yeah, the one in front, when you it's, uh, kind of boring everywhere. Oh. Never mind then. I thought it was easier at first. These are <coughs> too so sick. Okay. So that one's coming out of that. Where are the new ones here? Holy crap. It's a tangled up jungle, it is, it is. There we go. There's another one. You know, I have a good idea. Do you? Yeah, because we're going to have millions of these coming all the time. The local nursing home is looking for house plants the residents can take care of and enjoy. Yeah. So we put a bunch in a nice pot. Yeah. They can have some enjoyment. That'd be cool. As long as they get water. Well they will. The activities are for water. 
Let the old people water them. We can do something. Oh, come on now. Good bag. They were also asking for donations on vegetables. Vegetables? Yep, for the plants so they can put them in their, their boxes. They have outside in the back under the gazebo area. Oh, Funk is in here? Funk is in here? In a computer? Well, he wants to know some information. You know what we're doing in here? We're just playing. We're just working. We're just doing our thing. Trying not to be huh, and who, as you may call it. So, we're playing with plants. We've got no special microphones, just the camera. <clears throat> and I'm not always looking at the chat. So, you know, chat with each other. Hi. Funk. <laughs> Boy. Be nice. Be nice to the funk. I am nice to funk. I love funk. You're the one that was being all mean to him. <laughs> More plants. Stick them in that green box and I'll clean them up. I can do that. Oh. I can do that. Ooh, another one. Sweet. Let's do what you. That's not a good thing to do when I'm on a step stool <laughs> over the fish tank. I would caught you if you were to fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. How about the plants there? Cool. So that tray can come down for now? Mm -hmm. Let's just stuff up in there. Don't be mean to funk. Don't be mean to funk. I say don't be mean to funk. Whatever you do, have your fun, but don't be mean to funk. There's more stuff up here, honey. Was ist das, ja? Well, I'm short. I can't see. That's okay. I help. And the salvia plant is all kinds of gnarly up here. Yeah, it is. It's growing over top of the light bulb. Man, oh man. <clears throat> Yeah, so Funk, it's like snowing and crappy and cold and windy because there's a big snowstorm coming through and we're stuck inside, so that's why we're in here playing around on our day off, having fun. Oh, 
shirt cam anymore. No, I'm not singing Cinderella stuff because that's against copyright. Hey, there's like an echo on my phone or something. Makes my whistle sound better. Cigarettes and veal. Okay. They're bad. They're all clean. What? I just got here. Well, not my fault you're slacking on the job. Call yourself a cameraman. I'm not a camera man. There's a stool there. Do you ever look down and walk? Nope. Eyes ahead, straight ahead. Well, then you should the have seen it ahead of you. Okay. So, I just need to get a bigger pot. These need water. I'm not going to plant them today, no. but we'll get a bigger pot at the dollar store and put them in there, and then I'll take them to the nursing home. So we're going to put plants up there then? The ones you just repotted? Might as well. Okay. Put this string of turtles towards the front so, you can, so I can see it, because then I can tell if it needs water if you forget to water. Um, I'll try. That one down to repot it? Which one? That one, whatever that no, is. No, I don't want to have to open a whole new bag of dirt right now. Just for one plant. It's doing fine in there. Okay. I'll do that one when it's nicer out. That makes you rotate. It's going to mess with all of your little shoots. All the little shoots and the gosh darn it's 
Do your opponents have gosh darn it so only shoots? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Isn't it as funny as Robert Crutch Napoleon Award? <laughs> it's not nice to say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. They don't need water? Some of these do, though. Well, you want me to give you a cup? Where's my watering can? Uh, my yeah. special little blue watering can. It's little and it's new. Little is new. Where is it? Hmm. Is it still on the table and we didn't bring it out yet? No, I was using it in here. There's enough blue stuff in here, you can't block it. It's trying to protect us from the maze. There it is, right here. Like I said, why don't you ever look down? You can see a lot more in life if you look down. So everyone said to keep your head up. Chin up. Up. Yeah, well, I find money when I look down. <laughs> I need a towel, too. Here. Don't forget to bring a towel. <coughs> Do this. Glub, 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 glub. Got a towel. Thank you, though. the man with the shakes do the watering either. Well my arms are little and they can't reach so there's no choice. Always use your fish water from water changes to water your plants when you can. If you think you have more water than what you do for plants that just means you don't have enough plants. House plants. Or are you doing too many water changes? Get more plants. Plants equal happiness and clean air. Oh, I can't reach. That Probably that back one. Well, that off? doesn't have drainage, so be careful. Okay. Well, here. I'll leave it. It looks fine. But I have an idea until we can plant the rest of those in dirt for the purple hearts. Yeah. Can I take the fishbowl and just put water in it for right now? Take the sponge filter out oh, and yeah. you gotta put it somewhere other than the... I know that. Where it's at now. That would be fine, darling. Plants in the house need water too. Yeah. They often get neglected because we're out here more times well, than... The heat's right next to me. Uh oh. I didn't put anything under there. Like this. Oh. 
Sorry guys, I forgot to bring you along. We're washing over here now. Try to keep up. Funky roots. Funky roots? Yeah. They're all over the place. There's no random reason for them. Funky roots. Oh god. Water everywhere. So bad. Will these need the water you said? Yeah. Some of them you're going to have to hold up while you water and let it soak in, otherwise it's just going to roll right off of there because you're tipped. Well, we got to <coughs> take that and get the gunk out of there first, so I'll we'll take care of that. What do we got for comments? That my hair is perfect? Anyone say anything about that? You want to use my towel. Ah. Can't towel snap me there. That's... Alright, you gotta do that. It's, you gotta do a close-up of what can you do here.
handle. What? Salvini is hiding home. <clears throat> Sorry about the shakiness. Let me get a better shot. Okay, honey, I'm done wetting my plants. Are you? Yeah. Stop wetting your plants. Whoops. <coughs> now what? I have to clean up my lips on chat. What's going on in the chat? Welcome, <laughs> welcome to our fish room, man. Um, On a work day. There is a lot of drinking being done in this fish room, to be honest. <laughs> he wants to come test the theory. Definitely, anytime you want. Anybody that's just kind of coming in or did a little bit ago and doesn't really know what's going on, uh, we're just doing a pop up here. Did a pop up live stream been going on for almost an hour and a half. And we're just playing around in our fish room because there is a big winter storm. Just a crappy, wet snow of wind. And Basically, they're forecasting up to 31 inches for our area, 35 mile an hour wind gusts, and nobody's enthused about it, let me tell you. The only good thing it is for us is moisture, because our wildfire danger has been so high. j -Rock, in fact, there is a drunk meter. I call it a Katie. Usually. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there's just <laughs> there's just a, different uh, levels that she goes through, and I know her very well enough to know when uh, when we've had enough, I guess. 
So stick with us, hang out with us. You'll get to see it too, maybe. I don't know. We try not to get too drunk on camera. I am the liquor. I am the drunk meter. Yes, we are in Wisconsin. Um, it was spring. Like a week ago, two weeks ago, we put out a video of us walking around our yard. Uh, it was very nice out, very nice in the greenhouse, and now our yard is covered in snow and ice again. And I'm so gonna go. set an alarm for the middle of the night to get up and check and make sure the greenhouse doesn't have a huge snow load on top. Because if it does, we're gonna have to take our handy dandy styro styrofoam or foam car brush with the extension pole and pull it off of there. Because it's supposed to be extremely wet and heavy snow that they said plows and snow blowers aren't gonna be able to hardly move it. So as some of you may have heard it the term heart attack snow yeah don't be shoveling when you got a problem katie if you come over here and um if you click on that once i get it showing outside then people are going to be able to see hopefully don't don't do it yet but wait till i get out there hopefully it doesn't uh Now my phone's all wet. I wish it was flour. Well, that would probably suck too. Hey, Elfish is here. Cool, man. We were just talking about your uh, your basket video, making the 
fry grow out um, hang on basket it's pretty cool we like making our own stuff too so we're gonna have to try that sometime definitely Trying to convince him that it's a, I swear it's snow. June side snowball fight. That'd be cool. So I'm saying I'm gonna have to get it figured out where I can uh I already have it figured out, I just haven't tried it yet. Doing a live stream using our camera connected to my phone and then I can just kind of walk around the yard and live stream that way we could do a snowball fight who should be wearing the camera on the snowball fight <coughs> me or Katie She's talking about the ones you're referring to about elephants. The fry basket. Oh. We're just talking about elfish's um his video showing how to make the fry grow up hanging basket that, that he uses. We're just saying that we're gonna have to try building one sometime. Pretty straightforward. I like how he does his videos. So what are we working on next? Oh, we gotta find a spot to put them. And these two lights that Katie got, <clears throat> we never showed anyone these, did we? I think we no, I don't know. These are the lights that came with uh got two of these. Fluval lights. I forgot what model. The 14 534, 48 inch. They're 14 534. They're smart lights by Fluval. Got to use an app just to turn them on. And she got two of them with that 210 gallon tank that she bought. So we tested them out. They're really cool. We had them up above there for a while. And uh, full daylight, programmable, whatever color, temperature, brightness, you know. Most people are probably familiar with these lights. Very fancy as far as I'm concerned, but they they make the colors pop. They're pretty nice. I don't think I'd ever buy one out of pocket though, considering how much they're worth. Well, like straight? Well, yeah. If we had money to throw around like crazy, probably. I don't know. But they were all part of a good deal. We got two of them and they work. They're used, but and they were cheap. Seems like LED lights are getting to be a um, little more down to earth in price depending on where you get them, so. We do just fine with shop lights. Oh, the poor guppies. You just shut their lid and they thought you fed them. Oh, uh, don't have to feed them soon. Speaking of feed, we made some of our own food. It's very, uh... Well, it's a combination of other people's to make what we wanted. It's just a variety of food that we already had, dry <coughs> food. Threw it in the coffee grinder and ground it up to a fine powder. So we have some for a small fish and maybe fry. So we 
excuse me, I do want to move. Thinking about it some more. You know, we're gonna put the big 210 here, move the pond over here, and uh, it's just gonna, we're gonna have to wait till spring in order to do it, like good warm weather where we can drag the garden hose outside and do stuff. So we're gonna go back to Katie's idea and put the 210 over here and deal with the window problem as it may be. Who knows? Maybe it won't be a problem. It would be a lot easier. So I have to get this out of here and I have to move that. This is going to be the easiest step that we can do. I thought we could do it today actually. And just reuse the water. Pump the water down low. It's just shrimp and uh, guppy fry in there. Pump it down low and move that over here. This is 15 and an eighth, about 15 inches here. The width of that stand is 14 inches, so we got plenty of room. We can slide in between this stand and the wall and uh, be a, a place most over here because I think this is going to eventually just be kind of a racking system for smaller tanks, grow out tanks, and uh, quarantine tanks, things like that. And all the prairie fish will go kind of pretty much from here on down. This uh, this tank over here, this hex front, is really cool. I'm just kind of worried at how old it is. Some of the seals have been redone. It looks like it's kind of peeling. I might decommission this as a fish tank, as an aquarium, and, and turn it into... Terrarium. We'll use it for something else. Oh, come on. I want a terrarium. Something that doesn't need an aquatic creature in it. It doesn't have an to have An aquatic creature. Well, you could have a frogs. Well, frogs need some water, or you can have a lizard. You want a lizard? I don't want a lizard. You don't want a lizard? No. I can just have plants in it. Just some plants? Yeah. Put my Venus flytrap in there when I oh. get it. My pitcher plants. You know, just like a natural oasis of plants that you find in the swamp in the forest. No creatures? I don't know. Maybe so. All my creatures involve water, though. Unless sure. you put a separate dish in there. You could put like baby cats in there. No. No? Okay. Scratch that idea. Scratch that idea. Get it? <laughs> scratch. The cat scratch and stuff. Pretty funny. Um, yeah. <clears throat> this will be taken down. We have residents living in there. Two Chinese algae eaters, one common pleco, and a Salvini cichlid all reside in this tank. So here's our plan. I have a 55 gallon tank out in the garage, brand new. It's going to be mounted above this pond. In this pond we have goldfish, and in that 55 gallon tank we're going to take the goldfish we have in this 40 breeder and put it in there. That will free up the 40 breeder. So inside that tank, this one, we're going to put all the fish that Katie has already in our possession that will go into the 210. 
It's kind of like a an on deck tank or a what do you want to call it? Holding tank. Well, holding tank, but kind of test out and see their personalities living together. Uh, make sure that they're all going to be good and compatible. Um, we'll have other tanks available. In case they aren't good, we'll be able to separate them. To kind of see how they're going to do together. And to keep that tank going. But after... After the 210 is set up over here. So that thing's six feet long. It's going to be. Well, let's get tape measure, Katie. Let's find out. I'll do it. Let's see that rack. Six feet is. There's about three inches of play between that rack and the edge of the pond, the rubber pond or plastic rubber poly pond thing. Plastic poly pond, plastic poly pond. So six feet, it's a little over six feet long with that stand. So. It's going to fit perfectly right in there. Probably come out a little bit further than the front of this. It's pretty wide. So we're going to have it. That power is going to be moved. It's over there. We'll have six feet here. Should have enough room to make the stand for the tank for the 55 <coughs> that goes above the pond. What do you think? Maybe shrug your shoulders. It's okay. Magusta! Can we come back? Yeah. Excellent. Well, so we're going to try to like move that? We can't have cameras set up to do it. Why? Unless it's pushed in that doorway. Moving that thing? Yeah. Well, yeah, I can move the tripod. But you got to clean that corner out first. Yep. And <coughs> you brought the clean, you need two clean pails from inside. We'll pump out that water. And keep it and then reuse it right back in there because it's fine. <coughs> we want we could get one pail of water and do a little bit of a water change on it. But All the stats on it are just fine. And, you know, hey, if we mess it up, I don't know. I don't think we will. At least we'll be making a step towards getting that tank in here. I'm not sure where we're going to put that stuff. It can go temporarily there until we 
<coughs> True. Besides the, the spot. Yeah, you can put that stuff. The tank's the hardest part. It's not the bin. Okay. Wait. I'm going to go get two clean buckets. You're going to talk to people and respond in the chat. Or else. <coughs> Okay, so if you guys didn't get to hear Jake, we are going to take and swap the storage corner bin along with um, anything that's over there, clear it all out, and then we're going to take the shrimp tank, empty it down so it's not as heavy, and move it into the corner where the storage is over here by the tetra tank and then put the storage where the shrimp tank was temporarily it's one big step we have to get done before we get the 210 in here so might as well do it today Ooh. i decided to shovel the patio between the house and the garage while i was out there a little bit chipper yeah this is a very thin t-shirt i don't know if you can Oh, how cool it was. Right. Um, I got a siphon from the rear. This light. Probably won't be able to use it over there, unfortunately. <coughs> it's bright enough over there, I don't think we're going to need it. Here we go. Well, let me put it over here.
Come on, baby. This is the shrimp tank with guppies in it. I drain this water down so it's light enough to move this whole stand and all. The stand is just kind of an old aquarium stand. And then over from the top. There's shrimp back here. Oh, we're gonna have to be extra careful. Mm -hmm. okay. Ten gallon tank. spot for it. Right. <coughs> I gotta move this camera a little bit. Going for a ride guys. Sorry about this. But well, how's that? Is that better? Bug. It's a goat feeding trough. You can buy these anywhere. <coughs> the right angle. You grow plants, lots of plants. Thank you for my bowl staff. Can you reach the broom? No. Okay. 
It's not dirty in the corner. I just want to sweep stuff. You want this off here? No. You should probably use the shop back, but it's going to be loud. It's okay. It's not that bad. Just a little bit of right there and not that cute. Your broom. Just sweep it all up now. I don't know where the dustpan went. How about we just vacuum it up after we're done? Okay. I'm just trying to get everything away from the opening so you don't drag it in there. I made a mess with the plants earlier. Got an eye beer. <coughs> bum, bum, bum. Ben said, you guys are inspiring me to get off my butt, baby. <laughs> okay, now are we going to siphon? Maybe. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a light on it, but I have no idea where I put those lights. They were hooked on to. Yeah, I remember that one. This, yeah. There it is. What's the problem with having a mess? You create your own tornado. Watch your bucket.
Haha, <laughs> got the siphon going. This microphone. That's just plugging in. Do you know Craig's fish room is coming down soon? Why? Does he have to move? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. That's horrible. Well, I don't know if is he moving or is he being forced to take it down? Sucker rubber. The furnace is on now. Oh, it's getting warm.
We use you because you fit the tent spaces. Yeah, that's what I said. You want to knock the tank off. Just uh, make What? Go down a little more. They're all pretty tiny, so I think, you know, and the least amount of water will have the least sloshing effect on the substrate, too, so.
So if we grab from this board, that completely supports the bottom. So the stand is just hanging. Case out from this way. And then go straight back. Poor little fishies and snails and shrimpies. Make impression of a Canadian Mountie. And shrimpies. Oh. <laughs> My butt crack didn't show. Oh man.
Just cleaning the intake sponge on this little pump, 12 volt pump. It's an output nozzle. Had a spray bar, but it kept getting clogged. And so I just went with a, just cut it off. Just cut it off, you know. Slow going again, but we gotta get water back in there. I don't need that. Oh, you're pumping it. Yeah. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it out. Yeah, 
trying to figure out what I'm going to unplug here. Yeah, so I just keep pouring it into the bucket that has the pump and the pump pumps the end of the tank. Ow! Normally if the bucket's up to the tank, you just gotta keep filling buckets with other buckets. Keep filling buckets with other buckets. Filling buckets. Put a different light. Give me your lights. We got her moved. Not bad, not bad. so close so yeah well, I can't fill it up too far yeah. right about there is the height of the, uh, the height the water the cut out of the sponge it has to be taken into consideration. Mm. 
comfortable. Who's got that drunk meter on them? Little, the one bird feeder slightly sideways. Oh man. <coughs> it's not as bad, but I don't know if it's the direction of cuts coming around the house. I can go up in the other part of the garage right now. Well, since we're on our own live stream, we can talk about our live streams and our videos and all of that as much as we want. And now wanted to take the opportunity to thank everybody for watching and hanging out with us. Most Just definitely. working on here. Glad you're interested enough to watch. It's me sweeping the floor right now. Glad it's on camera. It's a good point. Look, he's sweeping. Look, I'm sweeping. I'm doing a good job. <coughs> you guys can't see Katie, but she's behind the camera here, just like pointing the whole time. Over there, over there, over there. Well, I can see it because I'm in it's a just, different direction than where you are just, looking. I'm not trying to tell you what to usually do. Just when, even when she's resting, her arm kind of just looks like this. <laughs> Help. <laughs> this is my call for help. When we started this... YouTube channel is a desperate cry for help. I knew that one day I'd get the audience I need to ask them, please help me. This woman, this woman of mine, she's got me captive. <coughs> some, core, some sort of spell, I don't know. Got that swept out. Once we get everything moved around where we want it, we can get the shop back in and clean up the whole floor. We're not going to subject these poor people no. to the noise of our no. shop back. No. Oh, 
Now we can plug this in. I don't think it works there. Well. Ooh. It does fall off. Spiders have been living in there for a while. <laughs> sorry, everyone, sorry. This is probably going to be in play like this. started on the accents too much now I'm going to be able to stop speaking with some form of one. Two and a half hours. So we have all of this stuff to put away. That's one. And I have a mask beyond there to clean up, but I can't get to it. And it is like 800 degrees in here. And we got the tank moved. Ten gallon. Okay. Mission completed. One more step. Most others to do in here. We're going to here, let's put this here. Well, now, it's kind of mm -hmm. Yes. What are you doing over there? We've reached that point of the evening that we now want to play music at an appropriate level. And unfortunately we cannot live stream and, and do that at the back. same time. And run the shop back. First. We could probably put us on mute if you wanted to watch us do that. And we can keep going. But, um... I kind of want to see if there's other people on, too. I don't know. Is there anyone else on? I don't know. I haven't been able to check. Okay. You have my laptop piled with stuff. So... I do have to get stuff ready for dinner too. Yeah, dinner time? Yeah. No, we need that. Okay, skip dinner. Well, thank you guys for showing up. Yeah, thank you everybody for Appreciate coming to the live pop up. No announcements or anything like that. We just decided to go on and kind of show you how we do our work thing on Sundays. Because Mondays are our lives at 5. And we get set up to make sure all the audio is working, all the keywords are working. Nothing's going to go awry during any of the lives. 
Oh, Skull says happy place is on. Happy place? Yep. We'll have to check them out then. Um, so, yeah, we're taking off. Sayonara. I thank you very much. Yes, thank you for everybody who showed up. Sorry if I didn't get to say hello to everyone. Um, we will see you next time. Maybe on another pop-up. Pop-up video. If That's not tomorrow night. That's like VH1. Alright guys. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, check out Happy Place if you're still online. That's what we're going to do. Later.